everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crafting with Cosplay Fabrics. My name is Indra and today I'm going to show you part two of the shoulder piece tutorial where I show you how I painted this shoulder piece. As you can see, I'm working with a variety of acrylic paints and I'm just using some different tones of browns, blacks, and just different paintbrushes. I'm also using a paper towel and I am working over a wax surface. Before painting, I did prep my piece using Plasti Dip Spray, however you can choose any method that you prefer um, to first seal your paint. This is what I had um, just started with and I will also be using a piece of scrap fabric for some texturing. You don't have to do this, completely optional, but I do find that it helps with the leather-like look. So first I'm going to start just creating a very thin base and this doesn't have to be very thick it can be actually very translucent because you'll see throughout the tutorial that what I like to do is just work in sections and work in layers so once I have this base base layer and this is actually going to be the main color I'm going to now start creating sort of patches and I like to start with the most striking colors so if you have any reds or sort of orange colors, any sort of like oxid, uh, oxidized type of colors, just patches. So the next thing is going to be continuing to layer, but now we're going to move on to the texture. So I'm making like a small like three by three inch square of paint and all I do is just go like over it like dab it over it with either paper towel or the piece of fabric you get different textures with it so you'll notice as you uh, as you're working with it what you will prefer to do I find that if you use the paper towel it creates a more of like a softer look whereas when you use the fabric it actually removes a lot of the paint so you're getting more uh, blotchy look but it does look more leather you do have to create a lot of a lot of layers when you're doing this and this whole process is just basically mixing paints and creating different tones this is just a sort of monochromatic look because all it is is just different browns and black and all I do is just try to use a very, very dry brush. And this is why I figured it would be um, best for me to show you kind of what I do is I put a little bit of paint on the brush and I try to get as much of it in all of the bristles without oversaturating the brush with paint. So that's why you'll see me sort of like putting it over the wax paper. And I just go back and forth and all I do is stipple the paint on. I work in sections and I'm just trying, there's no um, like real rhyme or reason to like a specific placement of color. All I'm doing is trying to get as many colors and as many tones in one spot as possible. So this is just lots of layering, lots of stippling, and this is basically what you end up with. And once the main like basic layer is done then you can go into the shading which is more of like the weathering part of it and that's why what I do is just use a very small amount of black paint and I'm doing this with a very very dry brush I remove as much of it as possible because I'd rather add on to it than have to you know on accident like put too much and then having to remove it and all it is is very lightly going over it, the spots where I need that like deeper black. And if I need more, then I'll just do it over and over and over again until it's dark enough. And this is it. This is the final result. I hope that you find this useful for your cosplays and that you like this painting technique. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week for another tip trick or tutorial featuring cosplay fabrics. Bye-bye.